This video serves as an addendum to my last video for the Asa Twin Combi. If you haven't watched that video yet, I would suggest that you do before watching this one. Okay, so for a quick recap, the Schlage Primus and the Asa Twin Combi have a similar dual mechanism initially patented by Bo Wyden in 1988. Each has a pin tumbler mechanism with six pins and a sidebar mechanism which interacts with finger pins that must be rotated and elevated to the correct position. However, there are key differences between the locks in each of their mechanisms. In the pin tumbler mechanism, the Asa Twin Combi has a counter milled core which interact with barrel security driver pins. The Schlage Primus has no counter milling and only standard driver pins. When we look at the sidebar mechanism, the finger pins in the Asa Twin Combi have vertical serrations which interact with the sidebar serration making rotation of the pins significantly more difficult than the smooth finger pins found in the Primus. Okay, let's pick this Primus open. I'm gonna be using top of the keyway tension and a Peterson number seven hook in 18 thousandths. The one thing going for the Primus is its narrow restrictive keyway. So I'm gonna go for number six, which is binding first. Nice little click at a six. Click at a five. Four is binding. That's click out of four. Click out of three. And click out of two. Now, unlike the Asa Combi, the Primus will isolate each mechanism. So I'm first picking the top pins, and then I'll get to the finger pins in just a moment. That teeny little click and that rotation of the core was number one. Now that all the top pins are set, I'm going to concentrate my attention on the side pins. I'm using a multi-pick number two dimple pick. It's big and fat and beefy and it's kind of unwieldy in there. Fortunately, this lock does not require fine movements to set the finger pins. I'm basically both lifting and rotating the finger pin uh, simultaneously. And the way that I see whether or not a pin is set is actually by checking the next pin and seeing if it's bound. If it is bound, then it means the previous pin uh, was set properly. That's my method for picking the finger pins. If you compare this video of the Primus to the Combi, you can see that the smooth finger pins are just so much more mobile and easily maneuvered. Just going back and forth, checking to see what's bound and boom, we are open. All right, let's open this guy up. Um, one fun fact about me is that I absolutely hate picking the SC1 keyway. Whenever I pick it, it makes this weird scratchy sound like nails on a chalkboard. I just, I can't stand it. Anyways, this is the other part that I can't stand is that little mechanism on the back. So get the key in and snap it closed. Let's get that follower and holding the sidebar, put that over there, gonna dump out the uh, sidebar and the little springs, and uh, 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 number two escaped. That was almost a disaster. Um, that's uh, pin number one, key pin number three, key pin number four, and key pin number five, followed by six. Okay. With a finger over the finger pins, I will pull out the key and I'm gonna take these out one at a time. We'll start with number five, four, finger pin number three, two, one. Dump out the finger pin springs and we'll set the core to the side. Zoom out just a little bit and these are all going to be standard. Now at some point this lock was uh, repinned and I guess the locksmith or whoever repinned this uh, used inverted key pins uh, as the driver pins. Um, this would have just been 
standard driver pins anyway. So uh, mechanistically, uh, it's not going to change the uh, feel of the pick whatsoever. The other thing that you'll see is that the springs on drivers number five and six are actually fused into the cylinder and they cannot be removed. Okay, so I'm just uh, getting the last of the driver pins. That's number one. And I'm gonna attempt to get all these springs out. I can only get four of them out, but I'm gonna show you the other two in the core. Spring two, spring three. Come on. Spring four and take a look. That's spring five and six, just can't get them out. Okay, we'll set that aside. And I'm gonna reposition all these finger pins so that we can see all the gates. Okay, let's take a look at this core. That's where the key pins hang out, no counter milling, sidebar, and that's where the finger pins are. Set that aside and let's take a look. On the first row, those are the key pins. Second row, those are the inverted key pins which serve as drivers. Row three is the finger pins with their gates, the springs, and finally the sidebar and all the little springs for the finger pins. Hey, well listen, I really hope that you enjoyed this pick. If you did, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.